वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हिंदी दिवस सो फोर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज द हिंदी दिवस एंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ योर इंडियन पॉलिटी एंड लिटल बिट ऑफ नॉलेज अबाउट वॉट इज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल स्टेटस ऑफ हिंदी लैंग्वेज सम बैकग्राउंड रिलेटेड टू वॉट हाउ द हिंदी इज परसीव्ड इन द अदर पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड सच काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन कुड बी ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंस फ्रॉम योर यू पी एस सी परस्पेक्टिव so let's begin and try to understand hindi written in devnagari script was adopted as the official language of the republic of india on 14 september 1949 and hence this particular day is celebrated as hindi divas so just remember the uh, hindi is the official language not the national language just remember official language so hindi is official language and it was given that particular status on the 14th september in 1949 and this was able to happen because of the efforts made by people like kaka kalkekar mathili sharan gupt hazari prasad duvedi sheet govinda das made important contribution to make hindi the official language so these are the people these are the prominent figure and in fact kaka uh, kalkekar कल लेकर इज वन ऑफ द मेजर इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर और वन ऑफ द मेजर इम्पॉर्टेंट पर्सनैलिटी हु पुश्ड फॉर हैविंग हिंदी एज द ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज बिसाइड्स हिंदी इंग्लिश इज द अदर ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज सो आर्टिकल थ्री फोर्टी थ्री जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस आर्टिकल थ्री फोर्टी थ्री ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन provide that the proceedings of parliament would happen in hindi as well as in english so english is also the other official language of india now just remember that hindi is in the eighth schedule language so basically hindi is a part of eighth schedule language along with hindi there are other 21 languages which are present which means 22 languages in india are part of the eighth schedule a point for you to remember is that english is not part of it english is not the eighth schedule language just remember that also article 351 pertains to directive for development of hindi language so basically in indian constitution article 351 says that center should made some kind of provision to promote hindi language so this is what constitution says about so first of all hindi is considered as a official language under article uh, like your 343 along with english and in 351 it is also a provision that sent center should take uh, appropriate measures to promote hindi so these are the few things that you need to know now let's move forward and try to understand about another day which is celebrated which is called as world hindi day so what we have on 14th of september is hindi divas then then on 10th of january there is also world hindi day the day commemorate the anniversary of first World Hindi Conference held in Nagpur on 10 January 1975 so the first hindi conference held in 1975 and to commemorate particularly this uh, occasion the world hindi day is celebrated on 10th of january so basically during the first hindi uh, conference the world uh, hindi conference 122 delegates from 30 countries participated It was first celebrated in 2006 by the former Indian Prime Minister Dr Manmohan Singh with the aim to promote Hindi language across the world. So first time like even though this particular Hindi day was uh, like given the date of 10th of January because on that day the first world Hindi conference happened but it was celebrated for the first time in 2006 only. Now the World Hindi Secretariat building was inaugurated in Mauritius in 2018. So from your prelims perspective just remember there is a World Hindi Secretariat located in Mauritius. Also it's a homework for you located in the map where Mauritius is located. So located in the map that's a homework for you. Move forward let's see what hindi language is so hindi language got its name from persian word hind so if you have like seen movies or if you have heard the conversation from the older people they used to say that the people uh, it was related to sindh and because of the persian dialect there that become hind and hence come the word hindu and which 
like it was hindustan in the language which was spoken over here became to be called as hindi so these are the few things that uh, could be traced as the origin so uh, it is also the modern devanagari script came into existence in the 11th century so the script in which the hindi is written is the devanagari just remember it's a, again a factual information it is a devanagari script in which the hindi is written is spoken in countries outside india so it's not only spoken in india only there are different pockets in the world where the hindi uh, spoken population exists an um, important thing for you to know it is the fifth most spoken language among the total languages spoken in the world so it is actually at the fifth number then it is spoken in pakistan nepal bangladesh usa uk germany new zealand uae uganda guana suriname trinidad mauritius and south africa so you see uh, a lot of these reason is because of the like at least these uganda uh, guana suriname trinidad mauritius and south africa it is because of the plantation like the labor who went to do plantation in these particular countries and they were like the native indians apart from that pakistan nepal bangladesh are very close associated of india and historically they have been part of the same landmass usa uk germany new zealand and uae had a lot of uh, diaspora from the indian population so because of it these are the region where hindi is spoken across the world so just remember few things from this slide then finally let's try to see what are the initiative taken by government as mentioned earlier article 351 says that government should make effort to promote hindi so let's see what all they have done so first of all the central hindi directorate was established in 1960s uh, under the ministry of education so we have central hindi directorate next indian council for Ag uh, cultural relationship has established hindi chairs in various foreign university and institution so basically indian council for cultural relationship is the one which deals with in strengthening the cultural ties with the foreign nation and there they have um, like had the hindi chairs in other universities then we have leela raj bhasha which is learn indian languages through artificial intelligence it is a multimedia based intelligent self tutoring application for learning hindi so if you want to learn hindi leela raj bhasha is one of the thing that you could actually go for then we have e saral vakya kosh and e mahashabd kosh mobile app both initiative of department of official language aim to harness information technology for growth of hindi so basically vakya kosh is the one where you can find sentences then shabd kosh is the one where you could find the words in hindi and then you could use them so basically both of these initiative are under department of official language and they aim to uh, utilize the improvement in technology or the advancement in technology to dissipate the knowledge of hindi to the masses then we also have raj bhasha gaurav puraskar and raj bhasha kirti puraskar to recognize contribution made to the hindi so all the sahityakars who create content in hindi they are also provided with the raj bhasha gaurav puraskar and raj bhasha kirti puraskar so i hope you have understood this video if you have any doubt feel free to drop a comment thank you